Welcome to Relax Corel. You guys can call me Kila. And today I'm going to talk about how can you import the Mixmo animation to Unreal Engine MetaHuman. So the project I'm having right now is the previous video I have on the simple MetaHuman and third person tutorial. Uh, basically, I just redo the whole thing on Unreal Engine 5. Um, I will briefly explain how to do it. Uh, you can go to watch this video too and go through it too in details. Um, but basically, uh, this project is the version um, of that result. And one of the things I want to mention before we start is uh, a few of you actually problem on mapping, retargeting the animation uh, to, to the body. For example, some of them don't have the shoes, some of them don't have the hat. Uh, and I also put the description on the video, uh, say, when you have trouble, you can reference the doc on the muscle pose component that you could actually put the mesh over here and then put other body parts uh, as a child of the muscle bone uh, and your metahuman shit works. And of course, I have a video of that that I work in the other project. Uh, you guys can reference that on the T time, specific time. And also uh, in this video, I will actually briefly show it. But yeah, let's, let's get started. All right, so I always put the video have timestamp and you guys can always skip to the part that you would like to see. You could even skip the intro. Uh, but this part right now, I briefly explain how do you do the first person project. So right now, uh, we start, we press on the UE5 uh, button on the top right corner on Epic Game Launcher. And then you launch it. After you launch it, you choose the game. And then you want to choose the first person. And after that, you press create. And then the next step you want to do uh, is you want to go to your project to actually import your MetaHuman uh, through content, Quicksoul Bridge. And then after you press that, you will have this opened um, if you logged in. And then you want to press your MetaHuman and then choose high quality and then press add. Ta-da! And then after you wait it, you enable all the plugins. Uh, you basically import your MetaHuman. And afterwards, you want to make sure um, that your MetaHuman your character uh, with proper skeletons with skeleton trees uh, go here and then go to show retargeting option and make sure it's on animation animation and then after that it's all skeleton so that you can actually map with the uh, mannequin Unreal Engine 4 character uh, with your MetaHuman character. So make sure your retarget manager is on here too. Choose Humanoid over here. Um, and then also make sure your mannequin have the same settings over there too. And you can you guys can always go back to the video I talked about uh, the third person controller. And afterward, uh, you set up the controller, you map it, and then ta-da, you have this project over here. Uh, it should be the same. And as I mentioned, uh, some of you have the parts didn't map it right. And here is the event graph, I mean the construction graph looks like. So what you want to do is you want your main mesh to be the new master bone. So I'll just move it over here. So your target of your other part is just drag and drop over here and then target it over here so that uh, your main mesh with the master bone and other parts will be the child. And when you look at the viewport, everything should work. Yep, so here is how you set up the project. And if you don't want to watch the video and you have experience already, don't worry about it. Uh, if you don't have experience, uh, go back to the previous video. Uh, I will probably include the link again. Or maybe just search up in the channel and you should be able to find it. And for the last part of mapping the body, um, make sure you use the new method if the, if the previous method didn't work th works for you. All right, now uh, here's the timestamp for the Mixmo for the people who know uh, what's going on and want to import the Mixmo uh, animation. So here's how we get it done. First, we have to appreciate the Tablus Studio. Their work is amazing. Uh, you just need to press direct download and then copy the password and you should be able to get your software from them uh, to help you to do the retargeting, retargeting work. So after you get the uh, software, you should be able to get the files look like this. 
and you have the epics file over here um, and then what you want to do is you want to log into your Maximo and find the character you want uh, find the movement you want and the first step you want to do is you want to go upload character and then you want to drag and drop your FBX over here and after you did that uh, the Maximo will do the auto waiting and everything should be done and you should able to use a character nicely uh, in Maximo so you press next and then yay we did it so we renew it so you could choose anything you want you could choose running uh, jogging everything works fine uh, you just just run so so in this project I want to uh, combine the third person control you don't have to you could use this method on any other project uh, you don't even have to use third person, third person controllers so I want to have a Nanuto kind of look so I decide to use the run and you want to make sure your in place is off and then press press download and then choose without skin 30 frame per second and then press uniform for the reduction and then you press download and after you download it um, you want to go back to your software uh, I put it over here I rename it to Naruto run so that I don't mix with other things and then after you put it here you want to double click on the maximum converter and then this should start and then just press this button and then hey it's done and then press this and then when you go to your complete folder you should be able to see your Naruto run over here so this is quick right so this is pretty much 90% done the next thing you want to do is you just want to import it so uh, if you don't want to use your metahuman if you just want to use a medican you're basically really close to what you have to do the next thing I did is I go to the metahuman I put the animation folder just to not confuse with the blueprint animation and later on I will organize it so the first thing um, you want to do is from the complete folder you want to drag and drop the <coughs> notice the run over here so when you drag and drop it you are able to see um, the import setting what you want to make sure you want to do is you want to choose your medical skeleton first and the next thing is you want to make sure the import mesh in bone let me move it so you want to make sure you import meshes in bones are checked um, if there is so import meshes in bones is checked and then also the default sample rate is on on and then you want to make sure the import custom attribute is off great and then you want to make sure your import bone tracks is on so now it's on so the last two step is you want to make sure your delete existing morph target curve is off and do not import curves with only zero values is off too so now you're basically done um, but uh, after you import it basically you will have certain problem with your height of your staff of your character um, we could import it first so that you can you guys can actually see what's happened um, so now I will import it just with the zero value uh, on the import translation so now it's zero right so I import it so now it's import you can see the mannequin display nicely uh, I want to rename it uh, over here so I want to put offset is zero so that I don't confuse with other settings and then the next step you want to make your maximal works on your metahuman is you want to retarget it again like we do in the fair person controller you want to choose the correct skeleton and then I will use the monkey king uh, naming convention that I created earlier so animation and I press ok make sure everything is fine and then press retarget Ta-da! so this should be done so if we look into the offset zero actually um, I'll go back here if you look at this this is really nice and the mannequin is always showing 
But there's this small problem.、Um, it's the height. It's kind of floating, isn't it? So we want to change the offset while we import it,、uh, and that's why this didn't work.、Um, that's why we need to go back. So actually, I will delete the both offset, zero, even though we just retarget it. All right, so I will import it again. This time, <clears throat> I will have the mannequin skeleton chosen, and then just minus five on the offset, and then make sure all the settings correct, like we mentioned before. It's correct. So now we import, and I want to rename it again.、Um, Offset five, right? And then we target. I'll delete both of the old ones, just to not be confused. Afterward, you want to retarget it, and then just do the same thing. Monkey King, and just correct skeleton. And then go to the folder and retarget. And now it should be done. All right. So let's have a look on the animation itself. So I choose. I go to the right preview scene.、Uh, go to mesh, and I preview with the shoes, so that I could actually see how it collides on the floor. So you see the top actually collide nicely on the floor with the minus five settings. Um, so which is great. And next thing、uh, you want to do so that it works on your first person controller.、Uh, if you don't want it to work on your first person controller, you're basically done.、Um, but in this tutorial, we go further. We want to try to map it to a first person controller. So what I need to do here is I want to enable the root motion,、um, and then I want to choose the animation first frame. And then press save. And then afterward, I need to make sure. Actually, let me go back. Make sure the running in here actually map correctly. So right now, when we look at here,、uh, it did say it's Monkey King first person run. How can we test it, right? So you hold shift, and then you can you could preview the first person controller. How it works with the speed, so you press play over here. You see, when your value change, it change to and blend to a different animation. So here's how it looks right now.、Um, it still looks kind of floating, but in your actual animation, it will look as a bit different in the first person contr controller. So yep. So here is the preview.、Uh, we want this value to change to our new animation. So this is easy. Click on this. Drag and drop, changing sample, and then double checked. All right, we didn't do it right. Let's do something really firm over here.、Um, so you want to choose the Monkey King over here. Monkey King, Naruto one for for this note over here. You see the speed is three hundred seventy five, so it's over here. And after that, after that, you choose save. Make sure everything looks fine. All right, so it looks good. So now we go back here and press play. Ta-da! It's done. Whoa, man, my my computer is heavy. Yes, but basically that's how you change and import to your Maxmo animation. All right, hope this tutorial helps a bit, and have a great day, guys. Cheers.